Alrighty guys, sorry, starting to get things a little cleaned up here. It's taking forever. <laughs> so, I'm gonna open up the barrel stove because I haven't actually seen the aftermath of the first fire that we had. And I brought a light over because darker than a tomb in there. And it looks like I have some stuff that still needs to be burnt up. And sand that needs to be cooked off some more. So we're going to have to do that. Um, let's load this sucker back up. Have a little fire because it is fairly cool. I can have a fire. So let's see if I can set all this crap in here. Set the light inside the stove. So I got some cardboard that I kind of got to get rid of. Oops, there's the phone. Alrighty guys. Um, so I just lit up the barrel stove for this very second time, the second burn. Um, and this time what I did was once I lit it, here it is down here. Once I lit the stove and it's on right now, I have the damper actually all the way open and instead of leaving the door open for a little bit I decided because it was a little smoky shut the door leave the damper open and this stuff will get moving as is did I just see some smoke or am I seeing things here oh I can feel the heat though Woohoo! She is drafting really well. So, pretty sweet, guys. Uh, because it's so low to the ground, it drafts really well to the outside, much better than my Cubic Mini. And uh, I'll tell you what, guys, this thing is a beast, this barrel stove. Um, uh, I highly recommend it. The old timey folks use these things all the time because they were cheap. Oh yeah, I'm getting some smoke here. I see it. Well, that's because of the uh, the paint's burning off a little bit here. Because I have the uh, I have the stove uh, going pretty funky here. See this smoke here? I'm opening the door because that's. I'm not going to be breathing that crap. Actually, I'll open the window. Might even be better. There we go. So, I'll bring the camera over closer so you guys can see the action. I actually have camera hooked up to a lithium pack. See it smoking here, guys? I didn't on my first burn I really babied it so this must be uh, really going to town on the stove now because we're getting a little smoke out but luckily window open and the rest of the windows are open I got this one open and that one open but I did load the stove pretty heavy with cardboard so this shouldn't go on for very much longer because it's going to burn down and it's a good thing I'm doing it now where the weather's nice. Let me open the door too. Um, because you don't want to be breathing this crap when it burns off, guys. It's uh, toxic -y. So we got the door open now. Bunch of windows. This is going to help burn off and cure a lot of this paint. Well, I don't really want to burn the paint off. I want to cure it. And that's kind of what that smoke is, I think. And then... Um, Inside I had that uh, layer of sand which has to be dried out really thoroughly so this will help do that as well and look at this thing man she's a smoker so you guys saw at the beginning I put all that cardboard in and just a little bit of leftover uh, wood that was in there and that's all that's in this thing right now but if most of you don't know what cardboard burns fairly hot so that's why you're getting all this now and you know it will burn down and get into the lumber side of things 
uh, shortly. So that's the main thing. Just want to make sure this thing is completely cooked off. That way it's good to go. Got a little bit of steam in action going on. And we want to cook off all the moisture out of that sand because if you don't, the moisture is going to end up rotting out the bottom of your barrel stove. And that's not a good thing. And the wind out there is something else right now. As you can see, getting blown all into the tiny house. And that, not really fun. So, this is kind of like a... I already babied it once. This is kind of the heavy duty stuff now with the cardboard. And it gets rid of junk around the tiny house, which is also good. So, dual purpose always. This thing is just flame throwing heat at me right now. It's unbelievable, guys. I'm just radiating the heat like crazy. See? Oh, yeah. Cement board is, yeah, it's it's going to town. So this will help cure off that paint. That's that kind of smoky, nasty stuff you see off my barrel stove, guys. Cure the paint. That way it is ready to rip for long term at the off-grid tiny house. And that's why we burn off all of this nasty now. So, like I said, in the winter time, you don't want to be doing this do it while the weather is decent outside you can open windows and doors no biggie see all that it's it's heat treating that paint right on there heavily 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 Whew. unreal Now the damper is wide open like I mentioned, so it's uh, going to town. What I can do is momentarily open up the, the door and check on it. Let's go ahead and do that. Whoa, she's a killer in there. Whoa, better keep that door shut. That is for sure. Ooh, look at her go now. That is a killer, killer fire going on. If that doesn't cook off everything, then nothing will. <laughs> Whoa, we're getting smoked out here. Unreal. Look at the smoke in the tiny house, guys. Good thing I got stuff open. Whew. So, anyways, now that that's uh, burning, burning off pretty heavily, let's uh, talk to you guys for a little bit. I got a phone call from my dad that I got to go back to work. Got another job, so I can't spend too much more time here at the Off Grid Tiny House, unfortunately. The battery is um, slowly recharging. Um, it's going to charge throughout the day. And I make sure the, everything is off. There's no loads on this other than this MPPT, which is controlling the charge. So it's creeping, slowly creeping back up. And oh my god, look at the smoke. Whoa, tiny house, smoke house. She's a killer, guys. So, I'm pretty much out of here. I'll give you some updates as we go.